Hey everybody, it's 8 Blaze here with Ryan and Sarah, and today we'll be playing some more Mega Dimension Neptunia. Woo! And this definitely isn't our third time recording this. No. Huh. It's finally over. Because our laptop sucks. Hey, Uzme, can I talk to you for a second? Hmm, what's up, Nepsy? I was just wondering what you're planning on doing next. Oh, you mean about that, huh? I'm gonna go beat the shit out of that purple hag, of course. That still cracks me up. Well, I'm sure she's no match for a giant killer like me. Okay, so once you take out R4, what's after that? After that? Oh, that's what you mean. You know what I'm getting at. You want me to come with you, right? Back to your world? That's right. Ooh, you're good at Uzume. You we're, yeah. we, we're becoming completely telepathic with each other. Your offer makes me real happy, Nepsy. And I know that it's probably a great place. It's your nation, after all. But I'm sorry, I can't go with you. Why? There's no one here anymore. What if we could even be CPU partners? I know for a fact that people of my nation would love you in a heartbeat. Well, Nepsy, I've spoken with everyone a while ago about the possibility of leaving this world and searching for a new one to live in. Oh my goodness, I burped. But the answer was un unanimous. Even if it was possible to leave, no one wanted to cast away this world, even if it is broken. I had to say that word before you jacked it up. In yeah, the yeah, I got it. We decided we struggle here in this world until the very end. And the and the punchline was that after investigating, we found this world world civilization isn't advanced enough for dimensional travel. Who's me? Oh, come on, don't give me that gloomy look. This isn't permanent, you know. We'll see each other again, right? That purple hag might be behind this world's destruction, and if I defeat her, maybe it'll turn or return to normal. If that's the case, I'll revive this city and the entire nation along with it. I'll be starting from zero, or I guess it's more like starting from the negative, but I'm going to make this nation amazing. Once that happens, once that all happens, I'll have to come up by and visit your nation. But isn't being by yourself lonely doesn't make you feel helpless? I got Umio the baby bugs and my do dogu friends too. It's pretty lively as it is, really. Uzume. So that's it. If you keep being lazy, being a lazy ass and eating all the pudding, our nation's gonna pass yours up in no time. Yeah, I think I want a population of a hundred thousand, maybe even a mil, a whole million. All throughout the city, we'll have elevators, moving walkways, and cars without any fly wheels flying through big glass tubes. And all the citizens wear tights all the time. <laughs> Actually, that's lame. Forget I said that. This is the era of the infotech. I'll establish a culture surrounding the World Wide Web and make it so people can play games online. When you're online, you'll be able to complete and fighting or racing games with other people or adventure and RPG games or RPGs together. Oh, this, I don't know why I said games. I know. I really hope. No, I'm going to do it. I'll create that fun, wonderful nation. Wouldn't it be the coolest thing ever? Definitely. I think it'd be super cool. When I first woke up here, you know, that was the first thing I tried to do. But at the time, nobody would follow me. Umio told me I wasn't going to be ready to make it happen for another 10 years. Oh, I totally understand. I get that a lot, too. You know, Nepsy, I don't think it's a bad thing to pursue the dreams you have. It's way better than just settling. Besides, it's fun to imagine all your crazy dreams coming to life. I really hope you can make it happen, Uzume. I will, Nepsy. I will make it a reality. It will, Nepsy. It will, Nepsy. Why did I do that? This is the second time. Oh, my goodness. Just a quick read. Okay. Do you know what time it is? It's Nep Station time. Your hosts today are Neptune and... Nepgear, reporting live! So Nepgear never thought we'd be able to transform, huh? Indeed! What was even more surprising that was that it was due to Uzume's ability. I didn't expect our first HDD battle to be against the giant, either. Wow. Speaking of unexpected, that one person showed up again. What's up with that, right? Oh right, R4 or Belt Conveyor or some such named eggplant colored person, right? Neptune, you're really doing that on purpose, aren't you? Well, Eggplant Lady is just a foil at this point, so let's forget her and move on to the episode preview. Take it away, Nepgear. 
A new enemy targeting us stands in Uzume's path as she searches for a way to send us home. Countless monsters attack. Neptune finally activates that forbidding system. Next episode, give your strength. Oh, give you strength. Why do I keep doing that? Today's preview still kind of wasn't a preview, but don't worry about it. We're working out the kinks. We'll see you next time. I really just want to make this episode short because <laughs> we we're pushing this. Bleh. Ugh. See here, you two. How long do you plan on dawdling about? You're much too young to be loafing around all day. But Umi, all this exhaustion from fighting the giant won't go away. Me too. I just can't get motivated. Ugh. Bleh. Dear me, where is all of that spirit you both had before gone? Oh, I'm sorry, even my sister's giving you trouble now. No need to apologize. I suppose their lack of energy now is a direct effect of a demanding bout with that giant. Besides, all we have are have our endless days of work once we get back home, so we won't get punished for taking it easy here. Neptune. Then Gearsy, would you mind accompanying me today? Me? I don't mind, but where are we going? Huh? What's this? You taking her on a date, Umio? Has Neb Jr. finally entered her popular phase? As her older sister, this means I'll, means I'll have to interrogate every one of her suitors to make sure they're wholesome. Alright, Nepsy, it's, deci it's, it's decided. Let's shadow them on their date. Huh? Is that what this is? Uh, you're quite adorable when you're flustered, Gearsy. Unfortunately, this will not be something so fanciful. I came upon an interesting facility <laughs> while taking a stroll last night. I suspect there may be data there that might interest you, thus the invitation. Oh, I understand. I was a little startled. Perhaps you would have preferred Neptune's <laughs> assumed intention. Goodness, please don't tease me. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> well, that's my proposed idea. Nepsi, Uzume, what will you do? I wouldn't mind if you both came along as well. <laughs> that cracks me up. Mm, there's nothing for me to do even if I hang out here, so I guess I'll tag along. Nepsi, what about you? If Uzume is cruising, then I will too. It'd be boring if I stayed here all alone. Fantastic, then let us depart. I'm home! Quickly. I'm going as fast as I can! Huh? I never knew this place existed in the city. What's up with this equipment? Does it work? I too was quite surprised when I discovered it. I never would have imagined a facility like this would be left standing in such a pristine, in such pristine condition. Emio, is it alright if I take a look around? I haven't the slightest about what sort of facility this is, but I'm sure no one is around who would protest. Yay, in that case, I'll get, get started on digging around the, this main computer and server. First, I'll connect the in gear by wire. <laughs> there! How's it, sweet sis of mine? Find anything interesting? Hmm. Yo, is your dimension to Neb Jr.? Hmm. No way is my own younger sibling giving me the cold shoulder. It seems Gearsy extremely focused at the moment, so it may be best to keep from disturbing her at the moment. Ignored. Oh, could this possibly be? Oh, what is it, a discovery? Did you find something cool? Yes, I thought this was some sort of communication facility, but I think... But I think might actually be for transportation. A transport facility, you say? Oh, but the equipment here is only enough for transport between here and the neighboring cities. And this is a... Conjecture. conjecture. But from examining this device, inter interdimensional travel seems unlikely with the limited science tech here. Aw, that would happen. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. It's alright, little sis. You're trying. We just have to keep searching. Hmm? What's that noise? What? That's my in-gears ringtone, but I don't have reception at all, so... A call from who? Hmm. Oh my goodness, it's he's... Histoire. Histoire. Neptune, I'm getting a call from Histoire! Really? Wow, she must have premium cell phone plan to make calls between dimensions. Oh my goodness. Neptune, Junior, Histoire can be pretty impatient, so I'd pick up that call right about now if I were you. Hello, this is Nepgear. Oh, Nepgear! Oh, thank goodness! I have been dying to reach you! Is Neptune with you? Yes, she's right here with me. Howdy, Isti. It's been a dog ooze age. How you been? 
I am relieved to hear both of your voices. I've been incredibly worried since your sudden disappearance. I'm sorry, Hissy. We tried so many times to contact you. There is no reason for you to apologize, Nepgear. After all, you two are in another dimension. Yes. Um, Nepgear, can you hear me? I just said you're in another dimension. Does that not surprise you? Huh? What are you implying? I just confirmed that you are in another dimension, yes? I assumed you would be more shocked by this information. Hee hee hee. Naive. So very naive, Hesty. We've already figured out we're in another dimension over here. How do you like that? I never would have expected Neptune to anticipate her current situation in this matter. Have you hit your head anywhere by chance? Hey now, Isty, isn't that kind of cruel? I haven't cracked my melon open or anything, and my brain always operates at lightning speeds. Well, the image of you being lazy has been burned in my mind lately, so I was under the impression you only use your school for sport. Ah, so Nipsey acts the same in her world, too. Oh, who is there with you two? Who else is there with you two? Whatever. Their, na uh, their names are Uzume and Umio. They've been helping us quite a bit. Uzume also happens to be the CPU here. I see. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you for looking after these two. Don't worry about it. I haven't had this much fun in a long... In as long as I can remember. It's been a blast having them around. What's wrong? Something I said? Oh no, nothing at all. I apologize. You reminded me of an old acquaintance. Please pay it no mind. That's right. I have not yet introduced myself. My name is... Eastwar. Eastwar, and I'm currently operating as Pla Planetune. Pl Planetune's Oracle. Eastwar and Planetune, huh? Flashback. Huh? Oh dear, what's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Nah, my bad. It's nothing. Just a little tired. Sorry to make you worry. Uzume, would you allow me to speak with her as well? Oh, right, of course. Greetings, Eastwar. This is Umio. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is mine, Umio. I apologize for any trouble the girls have caused. Neptune in particular. No apologies necessary, Eastor. It's felt quite lonesome here for some time now, so this excitement has been perfect for us. Oh, it truly is a relief to hear that. Why does this conversation sound like two parents talking to each other? Yeah, what are we, kids or something? You are like a daughter to me, Uzume. What? I'm your kid, Umi? I was your kid, Umio? Mr. Umio, you are the father. What a shocking revelation for Umio the merman, folks. Uzume, how's it feel to be this nation's first mer CPU? Then doesn't that mean I can breathe underwater? And it means I have a right to eat as much shrimp and crab as I want. All right! We can have a decadent crab hot pot tonight. Woohoo! I had simply meant that as a metaphor. It would appear your hands are quite full. I do offer my sympathies, Umio. Hey, Iswar, are you going to be able to uh, help us find a way back home? I don't see any possibilities here for interdimensional travel. Any possibility. Any possibility. Please rest assured, by mediating, right? Yes. Through the end gear and linking a transport terminal from that world to a transport ter terminal in ours, stuttering. It is possible for me to transfer both of you. Ooh, just as expected of my ISTE. I'm proud to see you suddenly become an amazing high spec. Oh yeah. However, this will consequently deplete a large amount of share energy from our world, so please understand that. If we can make it back home, then that's all the small stuff. Nep Jr. will work hard for our shares when we get back, after all. Only me? Don't be ridiculous. Gaining share energy is in your job description as well, Neptune. When you return, you believe me, I will have you working like a dog. Are you for real? Sheesh, maybe I should just stay put on this side of the pond. Don't, don't say that, big sis. Let's get home. I'll help you out too, so let's do our best together, okay, Neptune? You'll really help me out? Alright, yippee! Heavens, you always spoil her like this, Nupgear. So, Isti, we're actually already in a facility that houses a transfer terminal. Is that true, Nepgear? Yes, but this terminal is only calibrated for spacious transfer within spatial. the spatial transfer within the dimension. Would this be compatible for application? 
Yes, as long as it's indeed a transfer terminal, it will work without any problems. Okay, so I will use the transfer terminal that you are currently connected to. Guess you two found your ride. Looks like it. I really wanted to get back home to my friends and my pudding, but now, well, I'm feeling kind of reluctant about it. Me too. I knew this would be an inevitable... Inevitability. Inve <laughs> oh my goodness. I already said it. Just yeah. go. But I didn't think it would be by my... It, I'd be by myself again so quickly. It feels like you just got here. Oh, that's right. If we leave, she'll be alone again. All alone again. Well, Nepsy Gearsy, it's been fun. I've only known you for a few days, but it feels like it's been so much longer. You make sure to take care of yourself, Gearsy. Yes, I truly am sorry. You helped us out so much, but I couldn't figure out anything about the destruction of your world. You need not worry about Gearsy. I'll take my time to investigate the rest. Hmm, this is quite strange. It appears I cannot access the terminal over there. Wait, it might be. Hey, Swar, please give me a moment while I check on something. I knew it. This terminal is broken. I see. This is a huge problem. If we cannot use the ch this terminal, then I'm afraid we may not. We may be out of options. Then let me fix it. I'll have to examine it, but sure. To be but sure. to be sure. But I don't think it's too damaged. I believe this could still work for us. Wow, I knew you were good with ma machines, but I'm impressed you can fix something like this. Well, she is my awesome little sister, after all. By the way, what's your special skill, Nepsy? Me? Well, I have... What? what wait. What should I do, Uzumi? I don't think I have any marketable skills like Nep Jr. Don't ask me. Please contact me once you have completed your repairs, Nepgear. I believe as long as you are within close proximity to the terminal, I can contact you through your in-gear. Okay, I understand. I'll call you as soon as I'm finished. Is there any way we may be of help? For now, I'm going to try and figure out why the terminal is broken down, so you're free to do as you please for now. Oh, there you go again, Neb Jr. Don't be shy. We're more than happy to help. I might not stay up to date with all the games out there, but I for sure know my way around of retro consoles. Taking this apart will be a breeze. And if I show off how awesome and cool I am here, then everyone is going to realize just how capable of a person I really am. It's like this problem has affected Nepsy in her own unique way. Um, I may kind of want you to stay put, Neptune. What? Pump the brakes, Nepsy. Gearsy's got it handled. Let's go see if we can find anything around here that might be useful to us. Nepgear, how's this looking? How yeah. Nepgear, how's it looking? Think it's gonna work? Oh, so that's how it's wired. That's pretty strange. I wonder why they have those pots mounted on the board as opposed to one hour later. Hey Gearsy, you done yet? I see, so those broken or these broken solder joints were probably causing it to short out. I wonder where the rest are. Res res you jacked it up. <laughs> was supposed to go. Where this res residor was supposed to go. Three hours later. <sighs> mm, can't eat anymore. Wowie, this is so crazy. This circuit board has a CG1988 printed on it. An 88 circuit board is super you, rare. You blatantly just read that backwards. You said CG. Oh, GC. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, so this circuit doesn't really serve any purpose for our application, so I'll just bypass it and take the board home with me. <laughs> Five hours later. Still sleeping. It's finished. Blah. <laughs> oh, he's finally done. We've been waiting. So, will the transfer terminal work? Well, I fixed as much as I could, but there are two problems. Problems? Yes, the cor corrosion of one of those one of the core parts of this terminal is really bad. If we want to use the terminal, we'll need to replace the part. I was able to patch up a lot of other problems, but, well, I still have a long way to go. You're doing great, Gearsy. What's the other problem? We have no power. 
a large amount of energy is required to get the terminal running, but there barely seems to be any power left in this building. I see. Both are difficult problems. Now nah, we can at least search for the spare part. This city is so vast, I'm sure we can find a suitable a substitute for it. And what of the energy? We can likely find a replacement part quite easily, but I imagine finding a power source being difficult. We can figure that part out later. I can't really think of where we'd even find that right now. Yep, we might find a solution while we're looking for the part. Exactly. That being said, let's go look for it. Yay. Want me to keep going or? Why do we stop? Um, we keep, I guess we can keep going. We can't find anything. I could have sworn I saw something that looks similar. Let's take a break for lunch. We can keep searching after. I'm starving. I like that idea. What should we do for lunch? I know. Let's have some pudding. It is around that time now that you mention it. Is there anything you're craving, Izume? Pudding, Napsy? It's gotta be me. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Neptune. What does... How does meat sound? I said, like, what does meat sound? <laughs> how does meat sound? <laughs> Meat's good too, but I'd still like to propose having some sh super sugary treats as a dual lunch snack time combo mm, meal. Yeah. Well, I guess sweets sound good too, but when you talk about sweets, it's gotta be crepes. Isn't it would so love to have a strawberry chocolate banana crepe with like a ton of whipped cream? Then bonds between the tangy, slightly sour strawberry and the sweet chocolate is super yummy. It's just the best. Oh, even if we just had the ingredients, it'd be so totally awesome if we had that. Oh. <clears throat> well, you know, meat's good and all, but I'm not really that hungry anyway. Whatever's, whatever's clever, Nepsy. Dear me, there's no reason to even cover it up at this point. <laughs> then it's decided we'll have crepes for lunch. Let's search around for any leftover ingredients. I didn't say creeps this time, by the way. Yeah. There's a there's a building now. I'm just kidding. She sounds like a smoker. There's a building nearby that looked like it used to be a market. Let's check it out. This is really cute when she tries acting all tough. It's so adorable. I'd really like to take her to the crepes shop on Planet Planet, Planet Tower, Tower <laughs> Street someday. I it, the P throws me off. Okay. Don't think about it. Just say it. Okay. Oh, this terminal might be... I knew it. This terminal can get online. I might be able to find something. Oh, here it is. Blank month, blank day. We can't stop blanks rampaging blank. At this rate, blank will fall to ruins. I decided to search for a way to stop her rampage. Blank month, blank day. I feel like I'm seeing a blank. Yet another blank has perished. How can I possibly stop it? Blank month, blank day, blank return to normal. She remembered what she had done. Blank asked me to blank her. Hmm. I sort of get this meaning, but at the same time, I sort of don't. What are you looking at? Oh, Uzume, I'm col um, um, I'm collecting intel on what happened here in your world. And wait, didn't I mention this before? Oh, that's right. My bad. You're adding words Sorry. or changing words. <laughs> so, how's that going? I found a several I found several records, but all the data I've found so far is incredibly disjointed. I can't make heads or tails of what I've read. What's your end goal here, Garzy? I just want to know the truth. I just want to know what this world was like and why it's been destroyed. It's just speculation, but I feel like the reason this nation fell into ruin is written here in these records. There might not be much I can actually do with that information once I uncover it, but even so, It'll just be good to know. I see. Maybe you're the one to release me from this prison, Gersey. Prison? I've tried so many times to escape. Every attempt has been in vain. That blue sky feels so n nostalgic. You might be just what I needed. Uzume? Whoops. I started talking about weird things. Forget it. I'll catch up with you later. Prison, huh? Maybe it really is painful for Uzume to be in this world. Hey, Gearsy, wake up, Gearsy. Hmm? Oh. Huh? What are you... Where are you? Why are we here, Uzume? I thought you just walked away. Stop howling at me. 
Man, still half asleep? He came over here saying that there might be a terminal connected to the web and didn't come back, so I came to pick you up. Oh yes, I guess that was what happened. So find anything? Oh, I did. I, I was able to find this record. Let me see. Blank month, blank day. We can't stop blank serene paging powers. At this rate, the world will fall to ruins. I decided to search for a way to stop her rampage. Blank month, blank day. I feel like I'm seeing a nightmare. Yet another city has perished. How can I possibly stop it? Blank month, blank day. Blank returned to normal. She remembered what she had done. Blank asked me to kill her. What the hell is this? I don't get it at all. Garzy, does this make sense to you? Huh? I feel like it looks different from before. But I can't see. I can. See, but I can see the data properly. Was I that half asleep? Hey, Nepsy, I found this in a pile of rubble. Here you go. Whoa, is this a dead copy of Zeb Bios? I'm not sure. You know you know of it? No, it's a super famous title where the makers of the original place a hidden message that easily weeds out the fake ones. You're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to games, huh, Nepsy? And over here is a Benta. If you peel off this crappy logo sticker... See, told you, it says Zeka, the real manufacturer behind this thing. I should show this to Neb Jr. too. Hey, Neb Jr., we found something rare! Hey, Neb Jr. Yusumi and Neptune seem to be having so much fun. But, but this will all end soon, won't it? Is it really okay for us to leave Uzume and go back home? But Neptune and I both have to return. We have people waiting on us. I wonder what's wrong. Can she not hear me? Okay, I think we should call this good. There's one more scene. Oh my goodness! Quit complaining. I'm complaining because I don't want to mess up again. Calm your butt. Just finish it. Hey, Nepsy, isn't Gearsy acting a little weird lately? You know this too, huh? Nep Gear is an honest soul, so if something's wrong, it's pretty Ernest. much. <sighs> so if something's wrong, it's pretty much written all over her face. You got me so con freaking. <laughs> She's the exact opposite of you, huh? Are you trying to imply that I'm not earnest? <laughs> yep. You just, you've jacked up my speech, you little <laughs> shit. Why, you little blah? I want to defend myself, but I'm self-aware enough to know that you're right. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. This looks choice of... Ow! He hurt me! <laughs> Read. Why don't we talk to Nebgear? Let's see what she's worrying about. Ah, I hit my hand on the chair. Good. <laughs> Neb Jr., have a sec? Oh, Neptune, is something the matter? You seem to be down in the dumps lately, so Uzume and I were getting concerned. If something's troubling you, we'll be glad to listen. We're here for you. Troubles, huh? I'm sorry, I made you both worry. It's okay, though. I'm fine. I know you better than anyone, Nepgear. You don't look fine at all. Yeah, Gears, you have a pretty awful look on your face right now. Do I? Sh I should go wash my face over there for a bit. Hmm, she ran away. Still no clue about the... About what's upsetting her. My guess is that it's difficult for her to talk to us about whatever's bumming her out so much. What could it be? Mm, no idea. Then let's get her something as a present to cheer up. You know what to get, right? Something that Neb Jr. would like. Hmm. She's a big hardware geek, so... It'd be great if we could find something amazing enough to blow away all her worries. For example... Hmm... There was a giant robot equipped with enough power to destroy all of civilization. She'd definitely be delighted. Even if that is simply an example, I'd rather stay away from something so dangerous. I hope nobody heard that. <laughs> Uzme totally thinks that something cute would be better than a giant robot. Even though I've never seen it, I'm sure Gearsy's room is full of super cute plushies. I bet she's given each and every one a proper name, and at night she sleeps while cuddling her favorite one. Then she'll come crawling into Nepsy's bed with teary eyes saying she can't sleep without her favorite plushie. Isn't it just the most moy? Oh, Isn't I'm it Mo? It's Mo. Moi. Mo. It is Mo. You oh, said I'm Mo. sure it is so. It's spelled. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> but yeah, I think those giant robots would be pretty badass too, Gear. Too. Gearsy would probably dig it, I guess. 
Robots are just the coolest after all. They're just oh so romantic. That's so weird, Uzume. Goodness gracious, Uzume, you're always like this. She has a thing for robots. I've never seen such a thing, however, although if one truly did exist, it'd be disturbing to have around. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to say. She's a thing for robots. <laughs> Games are the best answer at a time like this. No matter how troubled you are, playing games together will make all your worries fly away. Experiences over material goods. I see it's quite like you and a good suggestion. I can get behind that too. Let's stop looking for parts for a bit and go have some fun at the arcade. You're, you're erasing words. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Ne oh, Neptune! <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Didn't we come here before? We're taking a break from searching for now. Let's take a breather at the arcade. Arcade? But we have to find that part. You need to loosen up, Gearzy. We've defeated that giant, so no one's gonna complain if we kick it for a little bit right next- What did I say? We defeated the that, giant, so no one's gonna giant. complain. You said that giant. Oh my goodness! Why do you have to like speculate on every single detail when I'm talking? Why are you changing words and eliminating them? Because words? it sounds better when I'm speaking them. We've defeated the giant. We defeated that giant. Doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. It doesn't sound any different. You just made oh, it sound I'm gonna right, fit right Move next on. Me. You're the one that has problems. Now nah, we're good. If anybody has any complaints, I'll just nip them up. Apparently I need to start reasoning Uzume's lines. So yeah, about that arcade, Ryan's an asshole. Uzume would be super happy if they had grain games with cute plushies. And when you go to the arcade, you definitely gotta hit up the photo booths. Let's take cute photos together, Gearzy. You can call me an asshole all you want. At least I'm not okay. struggling to read. At least I don't look like a douche. Cry about it. Oh man, we came all this way to the arcade, but all the cabinets are broken. Because of Ryan. That's because Sarah walked in the room and they was all blew up. <laughs> it's no use. They won't even turn on, like Ryan. If they're all busted out, there's not much we can do here. Are there any other arcades? No, because Sarah ate them all. I'm gonna fire shots, I'll fire them right back. Honestly, Ryan sucks. I haven't seen enough of this city to really know for sure. Sure, so Umiya, do you know of any arcade spots? Most arcades in this area are in similar states, in fact. Out of all the places I'm aware of, this one is in the best condition. I'm sorry, I'm done. Classic Umiya, so knowledgeable. I've investigated most every corner of the city in search of share crystals, after all. Going to the neighboring town might be what you guys want to do, I think. <clears throat> Whoa! Yikes, wife, it isn't Baby Bug. It's been a while. What a quinky dink to meet you here. I happened to spot you all with Miss Uzume and ran over here as fast as I could. That's real nice of you, Baby Bug. It's nice to see you. So you mentioned the neighboring town. Is there an arcade there? Yeah, some of our friends are living in a game center there. And the last time we visited, they let us play a bunch of games. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Let's head on over, everyone. We might even be able to find that, find the parts for the transfer terminal. I think we ended it here. Yep, and all right. So there's gonna, there, was, there was a few cuts in between there to check the video since this was our third time recording it. And but, I didn't want to have any mess ups. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, so if if the it's gonna the video might be a little choppy, but we'll do our best. Well, but, just, just parts where we had to get the other video, <laughs> yeah, which isn't but, that big of a deal. So this is going to be the end of this episode of Mega Hopefully. Mission Neptunia. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and we'll see you all for the next episode. See ya! Later!